Hello, my name is Stephen Frosty. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to assemble some of the acrylic bird cages built by acrylicaviary.com. That's www.acrylicaviary.com. There's four general size cages and they're all assembled exactly the same way. Today we're going to assemble the third largest cage the A3 cage. It's 24 by 24 by 30 high. When you receive the package, there will be a pack and slip inside the box that will have a list of all the parts. Please go through every part. If you don't see a part or something's missing, please get a hold of us immediately. This should never happen, but I'm going to go over each part that's supposed to be in the package, and this goes for any size cage. The first thing you'll see in there is two doors. They're sliding doors. They'll slide. They're designed to come in and out of the cage and I'll show you how to do that later. Then there's a tray made out of ABS plastic. It's made a uh, type of plastic that doesn't crack or break. You, it's dishwasher safe. You can put it in a driveway and spray it down with a hose. It's food safe. It slides in and out. It's an inch and a half high and it is available with grading if needed. Our next thing is the top. If you notice here, the rail has already been put on. This is the top rail. This is the top of the cage. So the unit that has the rail already uh, cemented on is the top of the cage. All the corners are curved. You'll notice all the edges have been polished. It's really nice. The bottom is identical to the top, it just doesn't have the rail on it. Next two things are the two sides. The sides have the upright struts, and there's a left and right side. They both have air slot up here for ventilation, and you'll know easily which one's the left and right side as you're putting it together. If you ordered any accessories, like this one has a water and a feeder besides a fan filter. The uh, openings will be in one side. Uh, generally it is put on what would be the left side if you're facing the cage. So the cage will be like this, but there's your water and fan oh, or water in your uh, auto feeder openings. Next thing is your back. The back has the fan opening. The fan opening is on the bottom. So remember that when you're assembling the cage that it's set on the table with the hole on the bottom for the fan. If you didn't order a fan or filter system, then there won't be a hole there. And then it would work either way. Okay. A few other things that will be in the package is your bottom rail with the screws array inside that are tapped. Obviously it goes the way the screws are in. This is the front. And by the way, these rails do come in black also but they're special order. White is standard. The other two things are what's called butyrite joiner pieces. These pieces here join the back to the sides. It's very important that the alignment is correct. If you look on here, one side of the joiner piece goes all the way through, the other side only halfway through. The side that goes all the way to the end is what actually uh, connects to the back itself. There should be a, a little leaflet in there, uh, a brochure showing an actual picture of which way they go. If you do it the wrong way, it will fit wrong. The interior dimensions will be wrong. Okay, so, but that will be more explained to you as we put it together. You're also going to be given one sample perch. It will have screws array in the end. It's a unfinished wood, poplar or pine. Uh, we give you one just to show you how to set it up. You can buy perch kits from us or you can just go to Home Depot and buy unfinished wood, cut your perches smaller and bigger sizes and uh, different widths, gauges. You can cut small perches, large perches going across, use wood screws. We include a diamond dust acrylic drill bit. Uh, the drill bit itself like you can see on here, actually has a special edge that allows you to drill into acrylic. Uh, this will 
<clears throat> allow you to drill holes and add perches anywhere you want, other accessories, hanging toys from the top, hammocks, even nest box, all kinds of things. This uh, drill bit is actually guaranteed not to crack your cage. They work that well. And you just drill your holes in the side <clears throat> to allow the perches. I'm not going to go in great detail with this because there's also another video on how to decorate your cage. And there I'll show you how to drill, etc. You will also get a bottle and uh, an empty bottle with solvent. This bottle will have solvent in it and then you will add to this. It's very simple. You just open it up, pour it in. You have needles that come with it. All you're actually really doing, the unit's mechanically assembled between the joiners and the screws. You would just apply solvent on the bottom and the top. It's very simple, never been a problem. And then depending on what accessories you get, you know, right now we have Lixit bottles. We're in the middle of producing some high-end bottles with Edstrom uh, ends. And uh, but right now we get Lixstrom bird bottles that can be put on with Velcro. It'll show you a little diagram in there. And then the fan filter system also has a carbon filter in there. You put Velcro on here and all that is shown and done for you. There's pictures in there. Let's start with the assembly of the cage. The very first thing you want to do is to take your left and right side and put it together with the bottom uh, rail. If you look on this rail here, you'll see slots in here where the doors slide in. Make sure that goes up. Putting the rail this way, where it's smooth, won't do you anything. The bottom, this is the bottom rail, the door, the doors slide into the rails. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is you can take either side. In this case, we'll take the left side. We just take the rail on the left side, undo the screw. And we just place that screw in here. To make it easier, you can lay it down. Just hand tighten it, don't get any wrenches or anything like that. Now it can actually stand up, just like that. We get the other side. This cage, the way it's set up, allows you to do this by yourself. You don't need a helper or anything. It's always nice to have one though, you know, someone that can hold it for you. But all you do is take this like this, put the screw in here, and as I said, everything is hand tight. Just tighten it by hand, and there you go. There's the two sides. Double check, please, that you have the slots on top here. Uh, just to give you an idea, a little better explanation, I don't want anyone to be confused. The doors go in this slide. See how they slide back and forth? So if your uh, slots are facing down, it won't work. two ways to go about this at this point. Either you can put the top on first and we can flip this whole unit on the top, do it upside down, or we can just place it the way it is right now and glue the bottom on first. I'm going to slide the bottom under first. If you look on here you're seeing protective film this white. Peel the film off first. I'm not going to do it on here since this cage is, you know, actually for a customer. All this you see here is film. It all peels off. Wait till you're finished almost constructing it. Although you cannot apply any solvent unless it's peeled. Okay? At least peel it away from the edge that you're applying the solvent. 
whether it comes in white paper, brown film, or whatever, it's all film. The unit is totally clear, except for the tray, of course. So for now, we're not going to actually glue this one. I'm going to slide this under, just like that, and we get this nice and centered. Any table will work fine, even a kitchen table. Just get it centered. You see how the centering is here, where it's equal on both sides and in the front. That will become self-evident when everything's put together. The uh, next thing we're going to do is put the back on. And then you'll see a bit more how that's fastened. To do the back, we're going to use these joiners. If you look at these joiners here, they slide on. Just like that. You're going to peel the paper off first and just get the joiners on. Now you'll notice they'll go on both ways. They can go this way or you can turn them around and do it where it goes in all the way the long way. Put it in the long way first. You'll see how this actually goes all the way through. See where the back is here all the way through? As opposed to this way. See how it's only halfway and you can see another channel here? You don't want that. You actually want this all the way through so you can't see the other part of the channel. That is the correct way to do it. Okay? So, you take one channel and the other channel. It's pretty simple at this point. If you are by yourself, you might want to use a little piece of masking tape. Make sure the circle is on the bottom. And you go to the back of the cage, and it will just 